Okay, let's try this again. I have found the solution to my problem, and the problem is actually quite common. In Eclipse, the, uh, it's going to throw a debug certificate expire every year, every 365 days that you have the uh, uh, Android tools installed. And the reason for this is that the certificate expires every 365 days for some strange reason. So uh, what you need to do is delete the certificate to reset it. So you'll end up having to do this. Um, I About a year ago, I uh, well, I guess more than a year ago, I had uh, Android tools and the Eclipse browser and everything installed on my computer. And I removed it before starting this video. Uh, but uh, apparently I didn't remove the certificate because uh, the certificate was still there from a previous install. So what you need to do is delete the certificate file, and that resets it because uh, it will create a new one the first time I load the emulator, and uh, my program will work correctly. So this is kind of a description. You can you can go to this URL up here and uh, read all about the error message if you're uh, interested, or if you know someone who has this message, you can now help them troubleshoot their problem. It, it will happen to everybody if you've used the Android tools for more than 365 days. Uh, so it basically uh, generates a debug certificate. It's only valid for 365 days. So and you have to delete your certificate uh, every year, and then it uh, fixes the problem. And you won't have that error message anymore. So I'm actually just going to go out uh, to a terminal prompt and delete the key, the debugs.keystore message, uh, excuse me, file. And uh, here I am out here, and uh, I am at a prompt, and... Uh, I don't actually see, actually I deleted it uh, to test it before I started this video, but uh, go out here and remove the um, the key store. This is the file here. I, I had two of them before. I had a debug key set and a debug key store. Uh, so this one would actually um, essentially remove it for me. So delete the file and uh, you're set to go. Mine's already deleted. I just deleted it a few minutes ago. And then you go back into the uh, Java Eclipse window that I had on there before. Now I'm gonna, you know, lo and behold, I'm gonna try it again. I'm gonna right mouse click. And I'm gonna do a run as an Android application. And so far, so good. Uh, it appears to be loading the emulator, which it is. Very good. And so now I have the emulator showing up. And you can see the port on the emulator is set to a 5554. And the emulator that's running is called the AVD4. That's the one I created. That's the virtual device that I created. Uh, it's an emulator arm, according to the description. And uh, it shows a black box, and then eventually it will show Android coming across. And then eventually it loads up what looks like a cell phone, actually. It emulates a, an Android device, and this should be loading Hello World. Um, application on there and if we go back to the Eclipse window I'll put this guy over here for a second so we can see it underneath we kind of see what's going on in the background here and we see that uh, well, there's a warning here this application or library is using uh, okay no problem uh, Android launch the ABD is running performing a test to launch the emulator Okay, good. It looks like a warning. It doesn't look like an error message, so hopefully this will load for us. It does take a few minutes, however, um, a lot longer than you would, you would normally expect. And this is a MacBook Pro, actually. This is a pretty fast computer. Um, the, this one, one of my biggest complaints about the Android development environment, and, and this is probably the same for iPhone as well, is that the emulators, although they're nice because you don't have to own the devices and it's kind of easy to test with, they are very memory intense. They take a long time to load, take a long time to run, as you're seeing, witnessing on this particular emulator right now. Uh, and I don't actually have very much running right now either on the computer. Um, it just takes, it's labor intensive. Um, it sets a lot of configuration files, it does a lot of stuff. Um, so I'm going to be patient. I'm going to sit here for a second. And eventually, what it's going to do is it's going to install this Hello World application. So it doesn't look like I've got anything added to my output yet. Let's see. I'm going to be patient, however. I'm not going to give up. The Android going across the screen here. One of these days it will load up. At least I've gotten this far, which is good. Uh, as you can kind of see from the, if you, if you watched the last demo and 
here, continuing with this one, you can kind of see I have to have a little bit of patience, actually. You can't just give up on this because, uh, you know, I, I didn't have any idea. If this is the first time I've actually experienced that expired certificate, so you saw kind of a live troubleshooting effort on that one. Um, but, yeah, Google search fixed that one. Uh, but now I know. Actually, it's not a bad thing to know. Why they put a certificate on there that expires every 365 days? I don't know. Maybe it's to keep people from... I don't know, continuing to develop, perhaps? I don't know. <laughs> you'd think people would be, uh, you'd, they'd want to promote continuous development, but maybe uh, it tells you you should update your stuff. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe it's probably just a bug. Probably getting fixed. So. Ah, here we go. We've got uh, Android. It uh, looks like it has the current time on there. The current time looks like uh, to be uh, 647. 647 looks about right. Uh, we seem to be a little bit locked, though. A little lock symbols. There's no service. You click on this menu button. Ah, uh, what are we going on here? Unlock. Let's just unlock it here. I'm not quite sure how I'm supposed to unlock it here. This is, a, this is the first time I've actually seen the 4.0, actually. Uh, let's see what we got going on up here. Oh, launcher is uh, not responding. Would you like to close it? Yeah, let's close it. Looks like I have a double transposed image, which is kind of interesting. I go back to menu maybe or home. Well, our uh, my emulator is not working as good as I thought it would work. Launcher is not responding. Would you like to close? Okay. That's, maybe perhaps I'm hitting too many buttons simultaneously. I'll be a little bit more patient with it. Let I select. Ah, here we go. Here we go. See, I just click less. That appears to be a little clock or something going on here. Uh, I'm going to click this guy here, down here. It looks like it's, like, you know, going to show me the applications, perhaps. Ah, uh, here's Hello World. Okay. This should be the application that we just ran. And, uh, if I go back out here, I can see, um, probably, uh, here, uh, let's see. I'm just going to see if it, that Hello World actually launched. I'm not seeing any status indicator here, but, uh, this is Hello World. This is the application uh, that I'm running from over here, and you can kind of see how the emulator works a little bit. We have the you know the back button should it runs a bit slow. It should take us back. Um, the camera button should uh, should work. The camera you'd think. This button here should uh, yeah audio. There we go. Adjust the audio. Uh, make a telephone call. Eh. Not as responsive as I was hoping for. Um, it's a bit slow, in my opinion. Uh, you should be able to to click on numbers here and have a dial. Uh, seeing if the, oh, there we go. I've got some numbers going on here. Oh, look at that! I got some sound coming out of this too. Yeah, I'll turn my sound up so you can hear what's going on. Let's see. Sounds like a telephone, doesn't it? Let's see. What happens if you do this? Well, where's it'll dial? No. No, it's not going to dial. All right, so uh, let me go back to the main menu. Oh, call log. Oh, there's some settings on the call log. I'll let you play around um, with the emulator on your own. Uh, just be patient. Um, when you click on it to run it, um, what it's going to do is it's going to run the application that you have selected, which in our case was the Hello World. It installs it into the emulator, and it's supposed to automatically run it. But we got a little error message about the uh, uh, the launcher wasn't quite working correctly. It didn't launch the application for us. It may actually be. Uh, I'm seeing some Hello World here. Uh, I know that's the application there. Okay. It might it might actually have been associated with the fact that this application didn't do anything. It was just a blank project that we created, uh, which may have uh, presented itself with an unusual situation. Um, but it should have loaded, in my opinion. But anyway, uh, you can play around with the launcher. Uh, it, we appear to be installed correctly at this point. Um, we appear to uh, be able to create uh, Android projects. I'm not too impressed with 4.0. I will tell you that, given all the yeah, given the speed of this, I might downgrade to a 3.0 uh, for future videos. But it's all going to be the same. 
and some of the features may have changed. I might have to put up with the uh, 4.0. Uh, I'm going to look into also seeing how I can make this run a little bit faster. Um, I seriously don't have anything running on my computer, yet uh, this, uh, this emulator appears to be running extremely slowly, in my opinion. So Actually, it's a little bit more responsive now, I guess. But uh, Manage apps. Uh, it appears like the uh, menu and functionalities are actually working, uh, which is nice. So. So now you have uh, Eclipse installed, you have the Android application development environment installed, you have Java installed, you uh, hopefully um, if you run into a certificate error like I ran into, uh, you'll be able to fix it. And again, that URL to fix it, just in case your friends or somebody else you know um, has run into this situation before. In about a year from now, you're going to have to do this. So you might want to just make note that you're going to have to delete this certificate file every in every 365 days as the uh, the tech doc is notifying you. It's also not a bad idea to clean your project. Uh, if you do run into these error messages, I showed you how to do the clean in the uh, previous video, but uh, it's going to be under project clean and uh, it'll remove any of the kind of weird environmental uh, I'm not going to run it because the project is actually running right now. Uh, it'll remove any of the um, abnormal running uh, configuration files, temp files, anything that happens to be in memory. So the next video uh, that we're going to look at, I'm going to run through a hello world and uh, in the meantime I'm going to kind of see if I can tweak, tweak my system a little bit. If I run into any good um, good troubleshooting stuff for you, if I run into any tricks to make this thing run a little bit faster, I will let you know, but I'm on a MacBook Pro actually with 4 megs of RAM, four, uh, excuse me, 4 gigs of RAM on, uh, so I can't imagine why this is running so slowly, uh, but uh, it doesn't appear to be as responsive. Uh, but it is an emulator. I mean, it's not supposed to run. Uh, I mean, it, it, it is semi-responsive, I guess. But it just maybe I'm so used to seeing a real cell phone. <laughs> maybe I'm spoiled. So um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you um, have been able to install Eclipse, install the Android development environment, and um, have been able to run the run the emulator. That's pretty much the task of this first series to get you up and up and running. So the next video uh, will be for both the Windows and for the Mac people and it'll be um, running Hello World, um, creating the Hello World Eclipse project and then running it in the emulator and seeing how it works uh, from scratch rather than using a pre-configured project. And we'll also uh, make some modifications to it in terms of the user interface. So uh, if you have not uh, been able to work through uh, the errors, reset your computer, mm, check to see if uh, your certificate uh, has expired or not, uh, if you get that message. Hopefully you won't. If you've never installed Eclipse before, you're not going to get this message. This message is only going to come up as if uh, you've had Eclipse, or if you've had the, actually not Eclipse, but if you've had the Android application development environment installed in the past, more than 365 days ago, you're going to get that message. Anyway. I um, hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, stay tuned for the next one, which will be Hello World on the Android.